Welcome to Greater Logic. This course is designed to help you become a skilled, productive, and safe grader operator. As you work through this course and with the help of your trainer, you'll learn about the machine, how it works, and how to inspect it. You'll learn how to control and operate the grader, including the fundamentals of blading roads and spreading material. You'll also experience many operating tasks like repairing haul roads, improving traction, and working with haul trucks. Just as importantly, you'll gain an understanding of how the grader affects the overall safety and productivity of the mine, and why the work you do as a grader operator makes a difference. In addition to exploring ways to help reduce damage to other pieces of mine equipment, this course will discuss how you can help reduce maintenance and repair costs of the graders themselves by becoming a thoughtful, careful operator. You'll see ways to be productive with the grader without abusing the machine and causing damage. We'll discuss blade cutting edges. This mine currently spends millions of dollars annually on replacing worn out cutting edges. Cutting edge life can be significantly increased with some simple operating techniques we'll show you. A modest 15% reduction in cutting edge replacement costs would amount to over $1 million in cost savings every year for the mine. In this course, we'll also discuss ways to save money on natural resources like sand and gravel, how to reduce fuel consumption by eliminating unnecessary passes, ways to reduce wear and tear on the grader, and methods to budget your time through job preparation and planning to do just enough to get the job done so roads are safe, but without wasting time. As a greater trainee, you'll face new challenges, including learning the controls, controlling your speed, and dealing with traffic. Definitely blade control and speed. You know, I, I spent my first three shifts thinking that I could do this really, really fast, but realizing that speed is not the factor, you know, it's control, and speed comes later, so. Yeah, I definitely had to slow down after those three shifts. So once I did that, it was fine. I started to pick up my control and now the speed is coming. So. Not everybody was born to operate a grader. Not everybody was born to operate a haul truck, but we learn. It's kind of baby steps. You learn how to do a pre-use. You learn how to do one function at a time. You, you set yourself up a goal today Today I want to master this one technique and be happy with that. You've reached that goal. Tomorrow challenge yourself for something else. Today I'm going to master spreading sand. Today I'm going to master moving a cable rope skid. Challenge yourself each day for one task at a time because it's huge. Grading is huge and it's certainly a rewarding job. I enjoy the grader. As we said, in a haul truck you can fairly easily measure success. Success operating a grader is a little more difficult to measure. How do you know if you're being productive? It can be discouraging when you have graded a section of haul road and two hours later have to return to do the job again because conditions have deteriorated and haul truck traffic has pounded deep ruts into the surface. But it's important from the very beginning for you to develop a new mindset for how to measure success as a grader operator. So sometimes on the grader you're going to work all day long and that piece of road that you worked all day long is going to look the exact same as it did when you started. And you're going to sit there and wonder, well, what did I do? But you got to imagine that piece of road not being worked all day long and imagine what it's going to look like after 12 hours without you doing it. It'll be destroyed. Uh, just the fact that you kept the trucks hauling through there safely, that uh, the road is not pounded out to pieces and it looks the same as when you got there, that's a, that's a victory in itself right there. Before you begin any new task, 
you should take a moment to plan your work in order to do it efficiently and safely. A grader is a tactical tool. It's a specialized piece of equipment with a multitude of operating configurations. It also has speed. It can move from point A to point B much faster than other pieces of equipment. That means it has the ability to quickly move from one trouble spot to the next, taking care of the highest priority targets to keep the trucks moving. Identifying and prioritizing your day's work to repair and maintain the worst sections of road will achieve valuable cost savings for the mine, not only in haul truck productivity, but in significant cost savings to the haul truck maintenance department. To minimize cutting edge wear, avoid the use of the float position as it puts unnecessary down pressure on the blade. Running in float is a primary culprit in accelerated cutting edge wear. Also, to achieve maximum cutting edge life, don't forget the 90-90 rule. For 90% of your work, the cutting edge should be at 90 degrees to the ground. You know, we're looking at best practices, so we look at, we take a lot into consideration. When you consider you know, the 90 degrees, 90% of the time. You know, um, you know, I've had operators question why we do that, because realistically, a good grader operator knows when he's supposed to roll it ahead to cut and back to, to, to carry. And what we found is that 90% of those applications can be done just as effectively at 90 degrees. And yeah, you, they're right, there are 10% of the time where, yeah, I need to roll it back. You know, I'm, I'm cutting some mud off a limestone road and, and I need to get that mud off. Yeah, I need to roll it back a little bit. or you know, if I need just a little more bite, yeah, I'm going to have to roll it ahead, but it's 90% of the time because we're spending eight and a half million dollars in cutting edges. And if I can get 20% more wear life on that cutting edge, that's a million six. You know, uh, that's huge cost savings. And that's just on the cutting edge alone. A good operator is knowing what that grader can do without damaging it. Um, treating it like it's your own, you know. Um, having that care, uh, something that was instilled at me at a, at a young age and, and we were told that no matter what your job is, no matter what you're doing, do it the best you can. And, and I think that if you want to be successful at any piece that you get on, do it the best you can.